So tonight we're opening up the works that I did while I was at the residency, um, all for sale. Hopefully we get rid of a few. Some money will go uh, to me and my family. Some money will go to the school, my new family, to the school. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll be good. I, I think there's a good vibe about it and it's nice, honest work. And hopefully we, we do well for the school because um, they did well for me. So hopefully it'll be a nice way to pay, pay some back, pay some love back. I didn't really have a set plan for the works. The works kind of took a, a bit of a life of their own. Uh, a lot of them were about the earthquake actually in Christchurch, being from Christchurch or being living down there at the moment, not being from there, but living down there. I, it was something I never thought I'd do, but I got on the ferry after already having an ash cloud delay. I got on the ferry and the day I got on the ferry there was um, another pretty good earthquake down home. And so I kind of, this resentment kicks in for a lot of Christchurch people, I think. and. Uh, and there's a bit of anger, I think, there's for me. Everyone was great. Everyone was welcoming. The kids were genuinely, genuine. Because normally, when I've taught in the past, you, the kids have to go through a certain period of time before they become interested, genuinely interested in art. It's normally something that they had to do. But these kids here, you know, the young ones, right from you know, five and six and seven, right through to the ones that the older ones are like, you know, the ones that are always in here. Um, they just right into it, you know, and they hung off what you did, you know, everything you said, and they, you know, they listened and they watched and they learned and they bought new ideas. So it was a really, really good time. It was a, it was it. In all truthfulness, it was it was more successful and more enjoyable than I ever thought it would have been. New Zealand, okay, right down the bottom. Yep. New Zealand. Things like theatre and, and writing and, and arts, if you can't push the boundaries in those fields, you, we're, really, we're really stuck. Mm. And, and these kids, and, and again, you know, Eve runs a thing where there's quite, quite often, most of the time I've been in here, talks about feelings, talks about having, you know, feel, how does this make you feel, how's this... And, and the thing that blew me away about the school too, and I, and I think it was a huge thing, was the amount of kids at such a young age I heard talking about their work, whether it be art or something else, they got up and they spoke about their work. I don't remember doing that until I was intermediate or high school. <laughs> Those guys from St Michael's coming in, you know, and their stories are so vastly different to, to everyone's, you know, most people we know, you know, and, and um, the second time they came back that I saw them come back, they were just like they own the school, is great. And not to mention, you know, they can't feel that good unless and that comfortable unless those boys from, from Wellesley actually treat them like that, you know, Eve was important, you take them out, you split up, take them out, soccer, bang, you know, and it was just great. But one, one lovely piece that stood out for me was the young girl who, who drew a house. My bright house, good, nice. I thought, oh, wow, so you've got a house here. Yeah, and she drew it at night, but she had this beautiful warm glow coming out of the windows and the doors. And it was a place that she loved to be, but yet on top of her house she still flew the Ugandan flag with the New Zealand flag and but it had a warmth and it had flowers and you know something she didn't have so that was pretty special that 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 was a good good thing to be involved in.